So we've received our poo sample from Michael um, and we want to have a look to determine if he's got any resistant bacteria. When you think about antibiotics, most of us will take these orally and obviously we'll take it with a drink of water. So therefore the antibiotics will hit the gut first. Our guts and intestines are home to at least a thousand different species of bacteria. But now there's new research about what can happen to them when we take antibiotics. The striking thing about a healthy person who takes an antibiotic is that in all likelihood they will get resistant bacteria in their tummies, in their colon actually. Uh, after about seven days. And with some antibiotics, these resistant bugs last in their tummies for uh, up to a year. That sounds like another compelling reason not to take antibiotics unless you really have to. I'm hoping my gut doesn't contain resistant bacteria. Right, so you have my poo samples. What did you find? So we saw Lindsay has tried growing my gut bacteria on plates containing four clinically important antibiotics. Presumably these plates should be clear of bacteria. Yeah, if you had susceptible bacteria, then they should be clear. But as you can see, there's multiple colonies on each of the plates, which would suggest that they're resistant to that antibiotic. That does surprise me, because I haven't had that many antibiotics in my life. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to ask, when was the last time you had a course of antibiotics? Probably about four years ago. Yeah, OK, so that's quite a long time ago, but maybe does correlate with some of the data that we've shown. That's a nasty surprise. I've got bacteria growing inside me which are resistant to all four antibiotics, one of which I've never even taken. I know the name, but I think I would know if I'd had it. Yeah, yeah you would probably know if you had vancomycin. It's a last resort antibiotic, yeah. so this is what you get if you're really ill. OK, that is really quite worrying, I must admit. And what's really quite striking is the fact that the main culprit in terms of having antibiotic resistance genes is E. coli. Blimey. So I might... have E. coli in my gut, which is resistant to everything. Yes. Blimey, that's bad. <laughs> OK, that's <laughs> what, not what I was hoping to hear. There are lots of different strains of E. coli. A few are very nasty. We don't know what strain I've got, but we do know it's very resistant. Now, that was an unpleasant surprise. It's one thing to talk about antibiotic resistance, but to discover that I've got these E. coli and they are resistant to all sorts of antibiotics is, I must admit, worrying. Mm -hmm. 